All right. Um, I got a project coming up, and we were looking at putting a dash in a couple of different cars, maybe into this dude. We haven't decided just yet. But the race pack dashes are stupid expensive, and we're running a, a mega squirt, so I just put up a little test thing here on the bench. Um, but essentially, what I've got is I got a uh, Hans G 28 inch monitor that I picked up for free. It did two capacitors on the display board, which is a really common problem with that. Uh, like I said, yeah, cheap 28 inch display. It's not going in the car. And then uh, I got a Raspberry Pi 3, uh, which is uh, in a case, which is kind of neat. It's got an Ethernet and Wi Fi. So I'm using the HDMI output over here. And then we have the power input. I got my mouse and my keyboard. Then my USB to serial adapter over here, running into my Mega Squirt. And this is an old MS1 I had laying around. So, and then the stimulator. So, and that's plugged in. So, Mega Squirt is, is up and it's running. So, to turn a Raspberry Pi on, basically you just take the AC adapter, plug it in, and the little green light on there will be on, and it starts booting. And we're running Raspbian. So. The boot time's a little bit slow, but uh, I'll go in and I'll change a few things, and we can usually boot it up much, much faster. So, uh, Because when you start the car, you want your dash to come on fairly quick. Some of the mods you can do to the Raspbian startup or boot sequence can get it down to about hmm, 3 seconds, 7 or 10 seconds, somewhere in that area. So um, essentially, the whole operating system, everything in the Tuner Studio, uh, runs off of a micro player a micro SD card that goes on the bottom of that. And that can also be set up. The software's all free. So that's a picture of me on, uh, on our last dyno run that we pulled. Um, so, ha, ha, ha. Anyway, so that's that. So we're up here to the Raspberry. And we've got other Tuner Studio. Like I said, software's all free. Um, so kind of a cool deal. You know, I think about putting a 7-inch touchscreen on... Uh, on a dash so the touch screen uh you get them off ebay for about i don't know 40 bucks um so we'll open up uh the ms3 example project it's probably kind of bleached out but we'll wait for it to pop up so there's that whoops i don't want them i want to open up a open project We'll do MS1 because that's what this thing is. It's such an old box. It does well. So we'll read that. And it goes online, which is cool. It compares the differences. So we can change our coolant temperature, all that kind of stuff. Inlet air temperature, we can change that with the rotating the dials on the gym stem, or actually on the stimulator. And then if you want to go to full screen, you just, uh, I don't remember how, but anyways, it'll go. So. That's pretty much how you set it up uh, and run, and you can get into all the normal tables, so all the required fuel and whatnot, 350, 30 pound injectors, 14.7 to 1, and then you can hit burn if you change anything. You see your three-dimensional plot, there's the uh, fuel table, kind of cool, I can go up here and go down to spark table, and there's a spark table. That, or you can go over here and you can look at your oh, the fuel tables up here. So, there you can see it. Very, very large RPM along the bottom and KPA up the other side. So, this is just a basic file that's in it. So, kind of cool. You can look at that. And then your spark. Uh, spark table one down here. We'll make that big full screen. So, if you want to change something, let's say you want to add. Let's add a little bit rough. You know, we want to add some fuel down there so we can multiply it by 1.1, which would be 110%. Oops, numbers lock 1.1. That'll add 10% fuel down to that section. So I bumped it up. And then uh, we're going to add 50% fuel just to make it look stupid. 1.5. Say so, okay, so you can see now I just jumped back up. You can do that, and then also if you go over here to the tuning section while it's running, you can uh, you can click on a cell. In particular, we'll just pick one up in here, this red one. And let's say we want to add fuel, you can just drag it up, 
whoops, drag it up, or you can pull fuel out. And while it's running, this little blue dot here will be bouncing or moving around down your idle. So you can grab a hold of it in there, click down in there, and pull some fuel out, or go in there and fiddle with all that kind of stuff, adding add fuel. And then you just hit burn. And as far as spark, we can go back over here. Spark table one. That's way too big. That's that. Start up an idle. There's your warm-up wizard. So if you need to add a little bit of fuel, just grab a hold of it and just pull that up and down a little bit. It changes the numbers over here on the right. And then we're going to throw some wacky numbers in here. Just really mess it all up. You can see kind of what we're doing here. So then you go here, highlight all those, and then you can smooth it out if you want. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, so... You can you can set it to automatically boot straight into Tuner Studio. So, and that's just one of the versions that I had. So, like I said, Raspberry Pi is about thirty-five bucks, including the pasta case. You get an SD card for about five bucks. Touch panel, if you want to put it on the dash, is about forty dollars, which is cool. And then your Mega Squirt stuff. So, and you can do your real-time tuning. So, works out works out pretty good.